How to make a PP module? Welcome to my channel. Today we will bring you the third step of the manufacturing process: layout. If you haven't watched the previous video, please click the link on the top right. Also, to save your time, there is a timeline below this video. You can jump to the part you are interested in. After string welding, the cells are connected by solder tape to form a circuit. But this is only the beginning of the process. To improve the economic efficiency, it is a good solution to increase the power of PV modules while generating more electricity. Therefore, the layout process is to connect a certain number of battery strings, thus increase the voltage and power. In addition, cells, back sheets, EVA, and glass are stuck in the certain order to form a prototype of a PV module. Overall, the layout is divided into four major processes: cell string layout, crossbar welding, glue fixing, and backplane and EVA layout. Beside me is the automatic busing machine, which consists of robotic arm, operating table, conveyor belt, cutting machine, welding machine, and etc. Weld the bus bar in it to make a cell string form a series and parallel circuit. We can see the robotic arm grabbing the cell string from the conveyor belt. According to the fixed version, place them on the PV glass covered with the EVA in sequence, and keep the strings at the fixed distance of two to five millimeters from each other. Because it is a half cell module, you can see that the internal structure is divided into two parts on the left and right, which also creates more gaps and improve. The optical effect. The robotic arm is the key in this procedure. A quality robotic arm not only increases capacity, but also provides higher precision. In Mason Solar's factory, the strings are arranged with an accuracy of plus or minus 0.1 millimeters. In addition, the operating table is equipped with the simulated solar light and a current detection device, so that. Faults can be found in time during the laying process. After the layout has been completed, the cell strings are soldered by the bus bar, which led to the positive and the negative poles. The current generated by the PV convention is guided by the shunt of the bus bar to form a complete current pass. The bus bar is a conductive connection component with the multi-layer laminated structure. It consists of bus sheet and an insulating layer with a width of five to eight millimeters, and is cut by the machine to form the different lines and welded in a vertical direction to the battery string layout. After welding is completed, the battery modules enter the dispensing machine via a conveyor belt. The high temperature resistant tapes are two to three millimeters long. And are used to fix the spacing of the cells. The dispensing head adheres them between the cell strings to prevent displacement of the cell string during the lamination process. Fully automatic dispensing machines like this have been widely used in the fields of semiconductors, electronic components, and LCD manufacturing. Its principle is to squeeze the glue into and out of the glue pipe. Through the compressed air, when the piston is punched up, the piston chamber is fixed with glue, and when the piston is pushed down, the glue is pressed out from the dispensing head. If the arrangement of the cells determines the PV conversion efficiency, then the backsheet layout determines the efficient and stable export of the current. There are many kind of backsheet materials, such as glass, plastic, metal. Polymer and etc., which are suitable for the different scenarios. Lay the EVA and the back plate on the back of the cells in sequence, and make the bus bars pass through the three small holes on the surface. Finally, the components are transported on a conveyor belt to a manual station, where operators visually inspect them. After passing the inspection. The operator will fix the bus bar with a masking paper and place the corresponding bus code under the cells. That's all for today's video. I hope you guys will enjoy it. If this video is helpful to you, please don't forget to subscribe our channel.
We will also continue to update this series to take you to know more about the stories behind the PV industry. See you in the next video.